Hi guys, it's Down Under Monkey, and I wanted to show you guys something I found inside one of my little Vero cam locks today. Um, pretty unassuming looking little things, and I've picked different ones before, which was that style, the five pin that was full of spools. Um, it's in a previous video I did. It's little brother. But it was this one that got me curious, I suppose. Because if I turn the key to open, I can pull the key straight out. That shouldn't be able to happen. Because, well, as locks work, the key pins hold the key in once it's uh, sideways inside. So, it racked my brain. So I thought, why not? Let's pull one apart and have a look. And I'm going to show you what I found inside. I just thought it was really weird. Um, I suppose I should probably pick this first so you know they are pickable and <clears throat> I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is. So I'm tensioning off the cam with my finger. I'm going to get my straight knife, lift the pins up and turn. Nice and easy. Um, these particular ones, well all the ones you see across the back here come off sliding gate and swing gate motors uh, that's what i do for a living sliding gates swing gates automation now the other manufacturer th their keys don't do that see i can put the key in from there doesn't do it at any point so these must be built like a normal lock these are not and i'm going to show you why all right pull over the pinning tray I already got one apart because I was saving a bit of time by doing that. So in the back here, you've got a press fit pin. Uh, so oh, should have had my tweezers ready already. So I drilled out the pin at the back. Come on, focus. Drilled it out, pulled it out, and inside was very, very interesting. So, I'll show you the core first. There's nothing wrong with this. This is just normal, standard. Okay. This, though, was a little different. There's a massive flattened off section just here. If you can see that. So compared to a normal core, there's a big flat cutout section there. And then you've got this small indentation. There was a ball bearing in that, which is down here. It had a spring. I'm not certain on this application. And then you've got the little cutout for where the, the locking pin went in. So the cylinder doesn't fall out of the body. So yeah, the flat section I thought was interesting, but then I started pulling it apart even more. I'll give you a close up on these pins. Well, there's the bidding on the key. These are exactly how they came out of the core. So I'm gonna put the core just back where it was, sideways. So you've got key pins. If this is gonna work. So you've got key pins, but they had the chamfered section of the key pin facing towards the shear line. One, two, three, four pins. And you had key pins up in the Bible as well, instead of driver pins. And the chamfered sections were facing the shear line as well. So it's just flat enough here that it actually locks and you can't just twist it with a key but once you put your key in and you turn it these actually uh, you can pull the key out because there's enough play I might put that back together and really quickly and show you what I mean so I'll put these back in the same way that they came out and yeah, they had the, like I said, they had the chamfered section facing towards the shear line, which I've only seen 
done maybe in one pin on a challenge lock once but every single one of the cylinders you see at the back there uh, well aside from every one of the other ones I'll show you in a minute you'll know what I mean I'm just gibbering on so when I put that in the key focus it doesn't even make it to the shear line so at any point I can pull that key out so I thought that was really interesting so obviously when the locks locked the keys are down in uh, the driver pins are down inside there so it can't turn but once you put your key in there's enough of a chamfer on each one of those you can actually turn the lock very strange anyway let me know what you think have you ever seen that before and really easy to pick I'm not expecting the highest security in the universe for a manual release for a gate override but I don't know picking it with a straight knife so all of these ones one two three four five that one there six they're all the same I got millions of these things these ones don't do it they're full of spools they actually you cannot pull the key out at any point same with this is a different manufacturer though anyway let me know what you think I just thought that was interesting and wanted to share it have a good day catch you on the next one